Hi, so in this course we're going to be doing an introductory to statistics. So the big question is what is statistics? We can really break it down into these three main ideas. The first one being data analysis, the second being probability, and the third being statistical inference. So first, what's data analysis? It's a process of inspecting, cleansing, transforming, and modeling data with the goal of discovering useful information, informing conclusions, and supporting decision making. So in order to do this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at how do we collect that data, how do we show people that data, and why was it useful? What are we going to be doing with it, and what kind of decisions are we going to be making? So in this course, we're going to be looking at how do we gather data. So do we do it randomly? Do we just ask our friends? Do we ask people questions? Or do we ask them to do something particular for us? How do we label and display data? So are we going to be using histograms, bar graphs, pie charts, scatter plots? What is it exactly that we're examining and is it measurable? So it's not enough to tell somebody, hey, do you feel like you did a good job or not? Maybe instead we can ask them what their score was or um, how many hours of sleep are they getting? That goes into how do we define and measure variables. So asking somebody how they're feeling, good, bad, or indifferent, can be measured differently than asking somebody how much they weigh. One has definite categories while the other one has a sliding scale. Lastly, what can we say about the relationship between variables? So if these two variables are related, when one increases, do the other, does the other one decrease? <clears throat> Uh, do variable relationships go up and down? Also, how strong are these relationships? Another thing when we're looking at data analysis is that we're going to be asking questions about a big picture, like a population, but we're only going to get a little bit of that picture, which is called the sample. Next, we're going to go into probability. Now, probability is more than just winning at a, at a casino. It's used all over, so we use it to predict trends in the economy. What's the probability that the stock is going to change? Predicting weather patterns. If we had the exact same temperature and humidity three years ago, did it also result in rainfall or not? Deciding if a change is significant. So is there really a big difference between 3% and 4%? Well, we're going to see that it really depends on the context. The next one giving us a range for plausible values and election outcomes. So if I tell you that a politician has between a 48 to 52% support rate, that doesn't really tell you if they're going to win or not. However, if I tell you that the plausibility that they win is probably somewhere between 58 to 62% and they're going to be winning based on a majority rule, then you can feel pretty confident that they're going to win. Last is going to be statistical inference. You can kind of think of this as an educated guess, but a lot more elevated. So imagine for a second that somebody is playing darts and they're trying to hit the bullseye. Now, what they do is that they leave those darts behind, but they take away a board. What we want to do is want to try to figure out where the bullseye was based on where the darts are left behind. That's what inference is. So what we do is that we look at a lot of different samples and see how they relate to each other and what does that say about the population. All of these work together in this way. So first, we ask a big question about a population. That's the big picture. Next, we take a smaller picture called a sample. We run some data on this, so either using histograms, summary statistics, or all of it. And then we decide what's the probability that that smaller picture actually looks like the bigger picture. And then, after all of that, we say, what does this smaller picture tell us about the bigger picture? That's what inference is. All of this is going to work together to make us better scientists and better citizens.